Tens of thousands of runners lacing up for Sunday's Honolulu Marathon. It spans, of course, as you know, marathons more than 26 miles, just over it. This morning, we have professional runner Diane Nukuri in studio to give you some marathon running tips. She's already starting with me this morning. Thanks for waking up early. Although, thanks. as a runner, I know you wake up pretty early yeah, to start your day. Um, let's start with some tips because we know the weather might be pretty good conditions for runners if, unless the wind picks up. Yes. So what would you, you advise for some people that are heading out to the marathon on Sunday? Well, I would um, uh, tell them to like uh, take your maybe a hat and uh, uh, for sure use uh, sunscreen and make sure you are prepared for the you know letter um, warm weather. What do you do the night before? You've run more than 10 marathons in your lifetime. What do you do the night before uh, as you get ready for a big run? I usually do the, us the usual um, eat carbs and pasta, rice and uh, potatoes. I drink water but not drink. Just I drink throughout the day and I actually, I actually start about three to four days before. Okay. Professional running shoes a must if you're running a marathon? Yes. Um, but you know you want to be uh, light, but not too light. It's about 4.6 um, ounce, ounces, and you also don't want them to be new. You want them, you want to use them for at least a couple months, and you don't want to just start using something completely new. Yeah, because right. It will give you your, blisters. If your feet don't like them, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kind of in a jam. Yeah, and it's a long race for that. It certainly is. Um, any other tips that you would give to anyone who's just running maybe the first or second marathon? What happens when you hit the wall? Now, I've run a marathon before, and I've hit the wall before. Yeah. What's your advice for, for runners who I hit would the wall? Say, uh, definitely take it easy. The first, especially the first half of the race, you want to make sure you know it's nice and slow and pick it up as you go. And wear something that you wore it before, like clothes and something you're familiar with. And uh, uh, when you take water throughout the race, but don't drink too much because you can, um, it, it could be dangerous to your body. Just maybe four ounces as you go, and um, you just eat no more before. Like don't go and eat three, four plates of like uh, carbs because you have a marathon the next day because you might have like a, an, um, a stomach ache. And um, have fun and you know wave and enjoy the experience. I think a lot of people forget about that. Enjoy the experience, have a little bit of fun immediately afterwards when you're done. Any advice there during that cooling down period, basically? Um, I normally don't cool down for the marathon. You just maybe get a get in a ice tank and have something, maybe a cold beer or water. Maybe <laughs> don't drink right away. But, um, I ran eight miles this morning, and I'm giving her my times. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm running in the eight minute miles. What's your time for a marathon? I've run two hours, 29 minutes, yeah, 35 yeah, minutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my job. Thank you for joining us. Thank Appreciate you so much it. for having Great me. Great tips from a professional here.